Hey guys, welcome to your uh, love reading for Sagittarius. This is going to be for the second half of your August from the 16th to the 1st. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you're connected with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Sagittarius people, not tapping into one, spe uh, one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, tell me about Sagittarius. What's going on with Sagittarius in love and the person that they are connecting with? For uh, the second half of their August from the 16th to the 31st, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. The Emperor, Aries Energy, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There is a situation here where I feel like someone here is still looking back at someone here, okay? These two individuals are facing away from each other here, so I feel like there's a situation here where there's a lack of communication here. <coughs> I feel like one person wants to talk, but I feel like someone here is emotionally closed off here, okay? Someone's communication is not so great. So Aries energy with the Emperor, Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Wow. Some here is not trusting this Emperor here. So what we have here is I feel like this Queen of Swords wants to get away from this Emperor. There has been lies. There has been deception. This connection has been stagnated here. I feel like there's been heartbreak surrounding the situation. Okay? I feel like someone here is moving towards a new beginning here because I feel like Sagittarius, I feel like you could be dealing with someone here who is basically non-committal here. You know, this person could be exploring other options here with the Knight of Wands and the Emperor here, Aries energy. Yeah, I feel like you might have found out some sort of like shocking secret or that, you know, you're finally waking up to the fact that you could be dealing with someone here that has played you here. This person might have come in, you know, seemingly that they're really grounded, very well put together, very ground, uh, you know, very you know, established in their life, but this person basically is, you know, non-committal here. They're not looking for anything serious here. And they feel like you're finally realizing that. And you feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're hoping that this person over time will change, okay? Or will do better here, but I feel like you're realizing that, you know, you were holding on to some sort of false hope here, you know? You were hold to, holding on to like, you know, sort of like wishful thinking. Because with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like this person has shown me time and time again that this person lies, that this person was untrustworthy, that this person is maybe a bit of a thief here with the Four of Pentacles, okay? Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords, the Three of Swords here. And also the Empress, Libra Taurus. So we have the Empress and the Empress here. Interesting. Oh, wow. This Emperor is dealing with two people here. We have the Empress. We have the... Uh, two of wands here oh so what happened here is that i feel like this emperor basically cheated on this empress here and this empress is gonna find out or found out that it was this other queen of swords here you know interestingly enough i feel like this queen of swords never really trust this emperor here because i feel like this queen of swords know that there was something going on behind this queen's back what else do we have here for Sagittarius, what does the Sagittarius need to know? Tell me about Sagittarius' this person, their true feelings and intentions for Sagittarius. For the second half of their August from the 16th to the 31st, we have the Nine of Wands here. We have the Knight of Cups here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Justice, 
and also the High Priestess here. Mm. Someone here really knows that they messed up here. Yeah, someone here knows that they messed up here. And someone here is taking full responsibility for their actions here. It's kind of, I feel like this is like a work situation hookup, you know? I also feel like this is a situation where I feel like maybe also this person could have, your person could have met this person at a gym here and they could have been hooking up since then. You know, but I feel like this person really realizes that they should have known better here. They messed up. They hurt you here. I feel like this person wants to come in with an apology here and set things straight here with you, Sag. Ace of, not, not the ace, nine of wands. Ace of pentacles. Nine of cups. And the death card here. This person also knows that, you know, they want a new beginning here. They also know that because of what they did, it might not ever be the same again. Yeah, it might not ever be the same again. With the Five of Swords here, I do feel like this person is trying to do everything that they can to win you back, okay? I do feel like this person is definitely, you know, kind of like feeling the burden here, feeling kind of like the heavy weight of the situation here, because I feel like this person is, this is weigh, basically weighing very heavily on their heart here, because they just know that they messed up. <coughs> Justice in the Four of Wands. Even though that this person messed up, you know, I feel like this person wants to let you know that they are committed to you. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person secretly, you know, has a dark side here. I feel like this person struggles with temptation. This person struggles with saying no. You know, I feel like this person got tempted and they feel like this person sort of went for it here. Okay? And now, I feel like they're in this energy of wanting to make things right here with you. The lovers. Eight of Wands. And the lovers here. They really want to work on moving past this here, Sag. Yeah, they want to really work on moving past this. Tell me about uh, Sagittarius. What does the Sagittarius need to know, look out for, or work on for the second half of their August from the 16th to the 1st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Sagittarius. Ten of Wands, the Magician. With the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay, so with the Ten of Wands here, I, I feel like this person is just taking full responsibility for our actions here. With the Magician here, I feel like this person is doing everything that they can in the power here to fix this. I do feel like this person, you know, is focused. You know, I feel like this person is trying to make things right. You know, trying to clear things up here with the King to Queen of Pentacles. They basically want to have a conversation here with you to clear things up here with you. Three of Wands. I mean, some of you guys could be in this energy of like really just sort of like turning your back on this in this very moment or taking a break from this. Tell me the Ten of Wands and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Tell me the Magician and the Strength card here. Like, I feel like this person also, you know, wants to move past this, but also feel like they want, they, they're willing to respect your boundaries, respect your space, and also, you know, give you time to sort of, like, process things and figure things out here, too. I feel like that's at least the least that they could do for you here after messing up. We have a Page of Pentacles here in the King of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords here in Judgment. So this person's coming back around to reconcile here with you. This person wants to apologize. Yeah, this person wants to apologize here. Tell me the Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, Four of Swords. You know, you might be coming off very cold, very disengaged here, okay? Yeah, I actually see you, some of you guys, like, turn your back on the situation right now and not really talking to this person because I feel like you need time to process this here because I feel like you're really confused, okay? Yeah, so I feel like you're about to find out that your person is basically doing someone else, you know? So Sagittarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.